Good morning everyone and welcome to yet another Whimsical Wednesday. Today the Leaping Lions are excited to present our assembly on a very special topic. People who help us at school. We all know that school are not just about our teachers. There are so many other people who work hard every day to make sure our school is safe, clean and... From our helpful Akkas who keep our classrooms tidy, to our school nurse who cares for us when we're not feeling well, everyone plays an important role. We are here to share a little bit about what they do and why they are so important to us. We hope you enjoy learning about all the wonderful people who make our school a better place. Before we start our assembly, we would like you to stand up for the school anthem. <laughs> people who help us at school. In our LA class, we got into groups and used our creativity and teamwork to write today's play. We planned the scenes, wrote the dialogues and even added stage directions to show what each character does. The children are walking in school corridor. Oops, I spill water on the floor. I'll go call Akka. Akka, Andrew spilled water on the floor. Thank, Thank you, you for mopping the floor. You're welcome. I will be careful next time. Without Akka's, the school will be dirty. The housekeeping staff take care of the school building and children. Some of their responsibilities are keeping the classrooms and corridor neat and clean to fulfill a child's need. One asks for help 
to ensure the safety of the children by keeping the campus clean. Now we're going to see a scene in the stores department. Can I have some LA worksheets? Sure, LA worksheet. Here you go. Thank you. My name is Noor. I take care of the t-shirts, stationery, and the notebooks. And my name is Thomas. I take turns with Noor auntie. Can I have some t-shirts? A new child has joined school. What size t-shirt? Size 6, please. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. The stores department makes sure that every classroom has stationery. Noor, Auntie, and Thomas Anna are always busy in the stores room. They ensure teachers receive their printouts in time and they provide t shirts based on the children's size, ID cards too. And the stores department also makes sure that the school is supplied with the necessary stationery throughout the year. Thank you. Now let's see how the nurse takes care of the Good morning, Jessica and Jenica. Are you ready to play some basketball? Yes, Harry, sir. I'm ready for, to play some basketball. Okay, Harry, sir. Let's start. <coughs> I need to use the bathroom, Harry, sir. Okay, use the bathroom. Sir, I'm learning basketball. Ouch, I think I got hurt. I think I got a cold, Harry, sir. Don't worry, I'll take you to the wellness room. Good morning, Harry, sir. What happened? Jessica got a cold and Jenica sprained her ankle. Don't worry, girls, I'll help you get here. For Jenica, I'll give Sophia Mycin, and for Jessica, I'll give Carl Syrup. I'll inform your teacher, and your teacher inform your parents. The nurse station has all the things needed when a person gets sick or gets injured. The nurse is well trained to provide first aid and check other symptoms of illness. Thank you. Now we have met some of the amazing people who keep our school running smoothly. We hope our play helped you see how important they are to us and why we are so grateful for everything they do. Now we are thrilled to welcome a few of the amazing learners who accomplished some outstanding achievements in the winning athlete section. First, we have the Chennai District Inter-School PH Sports Football Tournament, which was held on 10-11-2024. We have the participants from CC, LL, DD, GG, and SS. Let's call them on stage. Adav P, Adwik Ajit, Danush, Ajitesh, Chris Jacob, Akil Sarvanan, Sai Hriday, J. Vihan, Yug, Daksh, Ishan Lakin, Jimin, Narayan Satapan, Satapan, Advik L, Arjun S, Vishal B, Ilamitan P, Vedant vs. Siddharth M, Yushan M, Advik S, Vedant S, Yedan Amrit. They all participated and some of, some of them won second runner-up. Let's now ask them their secret to their success. How does it feel to represent your school at such a pre prestigious tournament? It, feel, it feels good to represent our school. I mean, 
when we play that Meghan Nathan sir has helped us come to this level. So it feels happy to represent our school um, in f further tournaments and this one. And it um, gave us some motivation. And Meghan Nathan sir also congratulated us a lot and um, also gave us a lot of tips on uh, uh, on the other <coughs> teams so we could win. Was there a particular moment in the match where a person got hurt that you will never forget? Um, I think, no, no, we didn't have any injuries on our team. Um, for us, um, we were, I think all of us were playing, but uh, we had subs just uh, if we get tired, we can change. But yeah, I don't think any specific injuries happened. What was your game strategy to win? Um, so, um, our game strategy was simple, um, rotate the ball around and um, and then keep passing and then score and um, in the semi-finals we faced a team called um, Kumaran and um, we knew that they were really physical so that our game strategy that time was to be tactical. What advice would you give to younger students who aspire to f play football in the future? Um, you should keep on working hard because um, the, competi the competition is getting higher as time goes by. And if you keep on working hard and keep on um, putting your interest in football, you will automatically play the game really well. So if you like the game, and you play it in your head very smartly, you're going to play it in the field very smartly really as like well. Game, so I hope you guys like the game too. <laughs> Next we have Nishan Ravi Shankar, who has won first place in the drawing challenge. Now I'm going to ask him the secret to his success. What did you draw to get the first place? I drew Eco Homes and the poster Save Energy and Save Light. Was there any strategy of your drawing? My sister taught me the drawing tips before the exam. I found I found the drawing skill. Were you happy that you won first place? Yes. It, this is my good experience. Now we are here to tell you something about children something special about Children's Day that we just celebrated. Our day started off with a fun filled assembly where the important members of the school performed for us. Then we went back to class and engaged, and engaged in a meaningful activity. Each of us wrote positive attributes for our classmates. I was very happy to receive mine. Do you all want to hear what my classmates wrote for me? My classmates thought I am My classmates thought I am good, cute, kind, friendly, and funny. Do you want to hear mine? My classmates thought I was kind, sweet, lovely, cheerful, beautiful, warm, funny, playful, and friendly. Thank you. Thank you to all who made this day a memorable one for us. A time to ponder. Small actions, big impact. Plastic is a big problem because it doesn't 
break down easily in the ground. So we should use eco-friendly bags instead of plastic ones. Using fewer cars that run on petrol and diesel will also help. Electric cars and bikes are already out there and if more people use them, it will help a lot. If we do this thing, the world will be more beautiful and healthy for both natural and people. How can I contribute to reducing pollution? First, I can start I can start by making small meaningful changes in my daily life. Secondly, I can educate myself and others about the pollution and its effects. Lastly, I can take part by joining community cleanup drives, planting trees or participating in eco-friendly activities that can make a difference. All this will help push for bigger changes that will protect the planet. Thank you. As you grow older, you will realize that you have two hands. One for yourself and one for helping others. By Maya Angelou. So we have uh, Samyukta, Kiana and Abigail who represented uh, KC in the ISSO gymnastic tournament and they won medals for the school. So they are going to share their experiences about their uh, uh, participation in ISSO. Hi, I'm Abigail and I competed in level 6 ISSO gymnastics. ISSO gymnastics was nerve-wracking, nerve-wracking experience for me because this is the highest level I've ever competed in. I've only competed two other times in this um, category. This was a big experience for me. So um, this competition was held in Bangalore. Yeah, I was also level 6 uh, with Abigail. We had four events. Floor, bar, vault, and beam. So I um, placed in vault, bronze. Um, it was a very like serious competition, but I feel like it was a bit unfair because after I went on beam, another girl came up, went onto the beam, and her coach talked to the judges about the scores. So we don't really know if it, it's, it wasn't very fair. I participated in level five. And my competition was in Bangalore too. And also in like the judging, um, there was like lots of um, confusion because so like once uh, one girl got a medal, then they just like took off the medal from her and gave it to the other girl. And then again, they switched the medal back they, to the same girl. They had this really weird rule that three people from the same school cannot place. So they would strip people off of their medals. They would strip the medals off of the people and then put it onto the other people, even though they won fair and square. So in um, level six category, there were uh, six people, me, me Kiana, um, and three other girls. So five Stiti, people. Stiti, um, Stiti, and uh, two Ari other girls, Ariana we don't know their name. Avika. Yeah, so there were there was five people, sorry, not six people. And those there was two other girls in a category that were actually really good and they kept placing and <laughs> it was really hard for us to beat them. They were pretty tall and um, strong, so they were very good in uh, events like vault and vault and bar. In my category, we had like 26 people and it was a, like there was a girl who was like extremely high at, what, at the event she did because she she could have participated in level six but she chose level five because she knew she was gonna place in everything because that's what she told me yeah it was, they, we had to do like two hours of training we would we would we both i think all three of us would to practice for another three three two and a half hours We'd go in the morning at 5.30 and then we'd come at back at the evening on Saturdays and Sundays and every day. Yeah, so during our coaching, we, we did practice for the first few times when we knew there was an ISSO competition, we first only practiced elements. But then when the ISSO competition was um, really close. coming really close, we just did very like, not quick run throughs, but how we actually, acted how the ISSO competition would be like. So 
we have to come in, we have to do our warm up. We only had 30 seconds warm up in the competition each. So mm -hmm. even in practice, we had 30 seconds warm up and it was very um, fast useful, and I didn't right know what was happening at it all. It was very yeah. useful because we knew what, what to expect. But then, the, and also this time, we didn't get to choose our song, we didn't get to choose our dance. So if something went wrong in our routine, we can't just improvise, because there is a specific dance, a specific song that they asked us to use, which made it really hard to improvise during your routine if you're a little late on doing an element. It's time to show respect and pride. Let's rise and face the national flag. Request you to stand in attention. School standardies. School attention. Standardies. Attention. things up we want to take a moment to thank the wonderful people who made this event possible we would like to thank Sam Anna, Srikantana, Jagannana and Madhyana and facilities teams for the arrangements today Selvan Anna for the recording of today's assembly Swayam Auntie for the editing of the recording and uploading it on the KFC website. For the music today, Paul Sir, Jonathan Sir, Neela from SS on keyboard, Isha from SS on Kanjin drums, and Oliver Sir for helping us in a play. Thank you.